Happy National DNA Day. Today is April 25th, and today is National DNA Day. You remember that uh, almost 60 years ago to the day, scientists first discovered that there was a double helix. It's also the 15th anniversary of the Human Genome Project, which set out to sequence more than 3 million letters in our genetic code. You probably all remember biologists James Watson and Francis Crick, who realized that our DNA molecules form a three-dimensional helix back in 1953. But DNA research dates back to the late 1860s. Friedrich Meischer was the first to identify nucleic acid in our white blood cells. His 1869 finding was later named deoxynucleic acid, or DNA. Others later determined that although DNA differs in each species, it always maintains certain properties. Those findings led to Watson and Crick's conclusion which paved the way for the decades of DNA discoveries. Today, we of course use DNA tests to tell us all kinds of things, from Justin Bieber's baby daddy mama <laughs> to the innocence of men and women who stand trial. But genetic scientists are doing more than trying to prove Bigfoot's existence. So today, I wanted to share with you five cool things that DNA testing can do. For one, it can map your family tree. For about $49 today, available on a whole bunch of websites, you can get your DNA test done, which will give you access to probably thousands of new relatives that you never knew you had and may never really wanted after all. But sites such as Ancestry.com offer to compare your DNA to those they already have on record in hopes of connecting you to unknown branches of your family tree. Ancestry.com's tests, as, long, as well as everybody else's, can also detail your genetic ethnicity. The new tests look at a massive amount of DNA and they compare it to other DNA samples from around the world by detecting similarities we can trace back generations to connect you to lands your ancestors once called home. Number two, we can solve ancient mysteries. No one knew where Richard III was buried in England. Richard III, of course, was one of the most famous kings in England, and no one understood where he might be buried until his remains were discovered in a parking lot. The remains showed evidence of battle wounds and scoliosis, but scientists weren't sure the skeleton was Richard III's until DNA extracted from the bones was matched to Michael Ibsen, a direct descendant of the king's sister. It wasn't the first time ancient remains had been identified using DNA. If it's stored in a cold, dry, dark place, DNA can last for thousands of years. In 2009, a DNA analysis of some bone fragments showed two of Tsar Nicholas II's children were killed along with the rest of the family during the Russian Revolution despite speculation they could have escaped. Scientists have even extracted DNA from Neanderthals, who went extinct about 30,000 years ago in hopes of gaining insight into the evolution of humans. Number three, you can distinguish your mutt. <laughs> Where does Buddy get his curly tail from? Where does he love digging holes in the backyard? Could I be doing more to make him happier and healthier? Your dog may not be able to tell you the answers, but his DNA can. If you go to the site, wisdompanel.com, you'll probably never figure out why Buddy loves to eat your favorite Italian pumps, other than the fact that he's a dog, but you can figure out where he comes from. Wisdompanel.com will test your mutt's DNA against that of more than 190 breeds to determine his genetic background. But why, cat lovers may be asking. <laughs> When you understand your dog's natural tendencies, you can tailor a training, exercise, and nutrition program to his specific needs. That's what the site says. Number four, you can predict the future. Using blood from the mother and saliva from the father, scientists can now determine whether a fetus has any chromosomal abnormalities that could cause a genetic disorder. For example, DNA testing can reveal if an unborn baby will have trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. Researchers are beginning to expand the field of prenatal genetic testing 
even further so that you can use it to identify potential developmental issues, delays, or intellectual disorders. Number five, it can help you lose weight. There's a growing body of research that suggests that our ability to lose weight or gain 10 pounds by simply looking at a piece of cake <laughs> is shaped in part by our genes. Scientists have identified several gene variants that may predispose us and our children to obesity. Researchers have studied rodents and those studies have shown that up to 80% of body fat is in our genes. Scientists have identified several gene variants that may predispose us and our children to obesity. Rodent studies have also shown that up to 80% of body fat is in our genes. That said, we wouldn't want to search for a customized DNA diet quite yet. While there is a genetic component to obesity, our understanding of it is limited. Researchers are still trying to figure out how genetics and exercise are related so that we can help people lose weight and keep it off. Again, happy National DNA Day.